So it is currently a little after 6 a.m. and we are checked out of our first day here at the Marriott and we are waiting for our driver to come pick us up to take us to the hospital to start, you know, all the testing and the paperwork and surgery. I'm actually super nervous. I managed to get a little bit of sleep last night. In fact, I think I think I fell asleep. It was around 2, 2 or 3 in the morning and uh, I set my alarm for 5 a.m. so I can get up and start getting ready, make sure everything was packed. And the alarm went off and I thought I hit snooze to sleep for 10 more minutes and I guess I turned the alarm off completely. So my husband woke me up 10 minutes to six and I was like, oh crap. Cause I thought we had to be downstairs at 625. Well, we get down here, we check out they're like, oh, he won't be here till about 645. So whatever, it gives us plenty of time to like just sit. We have a nice little sitting area. Um, down here. Wait, bye, Boogie. Good morning. I'm away for service. I don't know if they can hear you. But yeah, there's a little, you know, little lobby area. Front desk. Everyone here has been really nice, really amazing. If you need anything, they they work really hard and they get you what you need. Um, so we're just gonna chill. And I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade We got checked in, did the blood work, um, just filled out all the paperwork, just got in my room, had to change into this fancy gown that you have to keep open in the front, so I'm going to make sure that everything is covered. <laughs> um, so, do, 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 do. that's our door. You go through the door, and let me switch this over. So you walk in, and this is our room pretty actually decently sized um, have a closet for things so that is one half of the closet and then the other half it's big enough to Hold both of our suitcases if we put it sideways. Little desk area. And then my bed and my hubby's little sleeping area for the next couple of days. TV has Netflix, so that's cool. Our window, I'm not sure if it opens or not. I think it does. I better try it. Sweet. Not much of a view. Oh, well, kind of a view. There was one room that the whole wall is like a huge window and I was hoping to get that one. But this works just as much. We can get some fresh air. Look out the window. Just look around at the city. Oh, look. Let's close this guy up, lock it back down, and then right through this door is our bathroom. It's pretty nice. Then there's a mirror there, so I'm just going to make sure everything's covered. That's me. Hello. <laughs> Sink. Toilet. And great. 
big shower, which is nice. Little mirror, that's an odd place mirror because you really <laughs> can't see yourself unless you do this. Hello again. So I was a huge ball of nerves this morning um, when they were drying my blood. Normally it doesn't really bother me, but I, <laughs> yeah, but it's a little bit better now that, now that we're in the room and checked in. So time to make phone calls, let people know that we're okay. And we'll get back to you um, when I am in recovery. Okay, so everything's done. Blood work, paperwork. I look really, really red and blotchy. I don't care. No makeup. Had my eyebrows waxed for the first time the other day. Ugh. Anyway, so the testing's done. Um, if you hear that beeping, it's just to say if we're trying to figure out how to use it. Obviously, <laughs> we're noobs. Um, Ivy. Yeah. It's a bomb. <sighs> Surgeries start at 11, and we're not sure who is going back first yet. There's three of us here today. Um, so, you know, that's... You know, not too bad. It's not like some places that, like, you know, herd you like cattle. Just, I got something to relax me. My husband really did break the safe because it won't stop beeping. I hope it stays on the whole time just to annoy him. He's my booger. Can you? Yeah, it's not close. Oh. Alrighty. So, surgery takes about 45 minutes. Um, and then the recovery can take as long as up to an hour and a half. So when I'm back in the room, I will do my best to show you guys how I'm doing, what I feel like, and then, then it's walk, walk, walk every hour for 15 minutes. To help with the gas pain, blood clots, just and the more you walk, the better the recovery is. So, um, we will be back. All right, so I just got out of surgery, um, everything went well. I did my breathing treatment, um, or the breathing exercises for 15 minutes, and I'm having some left shoulder pain, which is normal from the gas. I'm gonna go walk for 15 minutes and that's supposed to help a lot too. Um, so my husband's gonna hold the camera and then we probably won't show, you know, obviously the whole 15 minutes, but just a couple back and forths. Did you have my phone for the timer? Yeah, it's time it's already started. Oh. If we're gonna start the timer when, uh, whatever. Look, we both get to be in shot. Yay. Yay. So. Yeah, really surgery. Sore. Not bad. No, no. You okay, so? It's really, like, dizzy. Yeah, surgery didn't take too long for her. Um, no complications, thankfully. Um, she basically was in and out. So, it was kind of nice. Ugh. Ready to go turn around? No. No. I'm ready to just go home. Go, go home. home. <laughs> Look like a hot mess. At this awesome hospital. Hey, let's, let's go. Let's go look at something real fast. Oh, it looks better than ours. What the fuck happened? <laughs> but, um, no. So, all the things I've done should, should be pretty good. For someone who's got cut open. I think it cut, well, kind of cut open. It's like kind of. laparoscopic. I had four incisions. 
someone got stabbed, I guess. <laughs>